شكراً يا ربي شكراً The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam had 24 hours a day, just like me and you. Did you believe him? Can you picture? The Prophet had the same time as you. However, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam, in a matter of 23 years, he received the best revelation from Allah. He established the best nation on earth. He established the best followers that history has seen, that a leader was able to establish. So much so that a non-Muslim who studied the seerah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had said that Muhammad, or we say sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is the most powerful leader that ever existed. Because what? when he was alive, if he commanded his companions to do something, the moment they hear him, they done it. After his, he, after his death, if his followers know that the, their Prophet had said something in a hadith which is sahih, they'll follow it. 23 years, the Prophet ﷺ changed the face of earth. Some of us here, some of us here, ikhwani, have been in Islam much more than 23 years. Some of us have been here for 46 years in Islam. What have you done in your time? Your Prophet changed the world in 23 years. What did you do, Akhi, in your 10 years, in your 20 years, in your 30 years, in your 40 years of Deen, in your 40 years of Islam? Again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by time. Your time, akhi, what have you done with it? I'll go back to the dangerous hadith. The hadith that if we do not act upon it, we may end up in her fire on the other end. You will not be let go on the day of judgment until you are asked about four things. Your life, what have you done with it? Your youth, what have you consumed it in? Your money, where did you acquire it from and where did you spend it? And your knowledge, what did you, how much have you acted upon it? Or what have you done with your knowledge? Your time, Ikhwani, your time. It saddens me to see that our youth go to the shopping centers, mashallah, they're there. Go to the festivals and the Eid festivals and the parks and MashaAllah, they're there. Any event where they can waste their time, they are there. And anything that's valuable to themselves or to their deen or to their ummah, they're missing. Where are they at Salat al-Fajr? Hey youth, where are they in the gatherings of knowledge? Where are they in the um, places where they should be? It's due to the fact that we have neglected the value of our time, Ikhwani. Ibn al-Qayyim, rahimahullah, he says something beautiful. He says, Inna kulla nafasin wa kulla araqin la yusrafu fi sabilillah. Every single breath, you know breath? That breath that you take in and you exhale it. Kullu nafasin wa kullu araqin and every single drop of sweat that is not used in the path of Allah or to benefit the human being in dunya, you feel pity, you feel anguish, you feel angry over that moment, that sweat, that breath that you took in, the, in anything apart in the path of Allah or benefiting yourself or your ummah. What would Ibn al Qayyim rahimahullah say today when the whole ummah spends endless hours on social media? Everyone's on Facebook, everyone's on Twitter. Everyone's on Instagram, everyone's on this, everyone's on that, WhatsApp, Mabarashu, everyone's wasting their time on that. They've left the best book for Facebook. That's the Ummah Ikhwani. And the time you'll be asked about.